Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. IMRH Indian Multi-Role Helicopter is a twin-engine multi-role multi-mission 13-ton weight class of medium lift helicopter. It is being designed to perform versatile roles and operations which include support air assault, air transport, VIP transport, combat logistics such as troop transport, combat search and rescue and casualty evacuation operations. It will eventually replace the MI-17 helicopters of Indian Air Force and will be better in many aspects than its latest version MI-17 V-5. Considering the requirement of our armed forces, it's estimated that Air Force, Army and Navy will procure 200, 100 and 14 IMRH helicopters respectively. The naval variant is going to be bigger than Army and Air Force variant and will be called DBMRH or Deck-Based Multi-Role Helicopter. The overall cost of procurement of 314 IMRH is going to be $20 billion. The helicopter will be developed in collaboration with private players with minimum 50% of indigenous component. IMRH is going to be equipped with a smart cockpit, composite and modular airframe, crash-worthy tricycle landing gear, 4-axis automatic flight control system, state-of-art mission systems, advanced avionic systems, a service ceiling of 6.5 km, range of 800 km, endurance of 3 hours and a payload of 4000 kg with maximum cruise speed of 270 km per hour. It is going to be 25.16 meter long with a height of 2.41 meter and width of 4.74 meter. It will be the most spacious helicopter in its category with troop carrying capacity of 24 to 36. IMRH is being designed to operate in extreme weather condition and high altitudes. It will have five foldable blades in main rotor made up of composite material. The tail will have four rotor blades. IMRH will have four hard points where it can carry four anti tag guided missiles and each hard point can carry a payload of up to 300 kgs. It can also carry 500 kgs of payload on the hard point near fuselage. In total, it will have weapon payload capacity of 1600 kg and overall payload capacity of 4000 kg. At an altitude of 4.5 km, it can carry payload of 1000 kg which will be best in its class. It will also be equipped with electronic warfare suite and self-protection jammer. Now let's talk about its development and there are some exciting news about it. In order to fast track the development, AMCA and IMRH has been placed under SPV or a special purpose vehicle model involving private players with majority of stake. The idea behind giving majority stake to private players is to speed up the procurement process and cut down the unwanted red tapism which we have seen in our PSU's procurement process and also to reduce the cost. Accordingly. HL has issued the expression of interest in April 2022 for selection of SPV partner. Back in June 2022, HL and Safran has signed a memorandum of understanding to create a new joint venture intended to develop helicopter engines. It will be dedicated to the development, production, sales and support of helicopter engines and one of its main objectives will be to meet the requirement of HL and the Ministry of Defense future helicopter including 13-ton IMRH. Safran is ready to supply the transfer of technology for a customized variant of Makila helicopter engines for HL's IMRH which has been designed to power 9 to 12-ton class of heavyweight helicopters. Currently, the preliminary design phase is under progress. HL has completed the Phase 1 of wind tunnel testing of IMRH Indian Air Force scaled model and the results are satisfactory. The Phase 2 of wind tunnel testing are under progress. The structural test 
of unarmed version of IMRH is planned to be conducted in 2023, followed by its first flight in 2024. The armed version of IMRH will undergo the structural testing by 2025. The new helicopter is expected to enter production by 2029. This was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector